Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're looking at a Jayco Seneca. Let's go. This is the Jayco Seneca 37L. This is a class Super C motorhome, which means it's a class C on a big diesel engine and chassis. This particular one comes in on the Freightliner S2 RV chassis. This is pushing 360 horsepower and can tow 15,000 pounds. So why on earth would anybody want a motorhome this big and this expensive? Well, there's a lot of reasons. One reason is it can tow a lot. You could tow a boat, you could tow a horse trailer, a cargo trailer with some ATVs, UTVs. This is really something for somebody who wants something more larger and more powerful than your typical Ford chassis which will have the new V8. This is also great because it's easy to service. This Freightliner chassis can literally just be taken into the Freightliner dealership and dealt with that way. Another great feature is the extra power, the great handling with the J-Ride package, which I'll get into in a minute. Overall, it's a big, powerful motorhome with lots of space. Now, speaking of J-Ride Premium, it's important when you take a Freightliner chassis and put a house on it, you gotta adjust the suspension and the handling. One thing that Freightliner, sorry, Jayco does is they computer balance the drive shaft and this ensures smooth and efficient power transfer to the wheels and also helps with vibrations. This will have rear air suspension to soften the ride, improving the handling. A heavy duty rear stabilizer bar which is a larger bar with polyurethane bushings instead of rubber that'll transfer the power faster for extra support, more stability, and easier handling. This will have a full air brake system. And finally, it'll come with Saks shock absorber upgrades, which are large dimension tube, sorry, large diameter tube designs, a pair of gas and hydraulics to resist heat and pressure while independently adjusting to changing road conditions. All in all, I've driven these a lot and they are nice. So I did mention ease of servicing. If you're a mechanic, this is very easy to access this big Cummins engine. Let's come around, look at the other side. So any Freightliner dealership can work on this. You know, if you go to a big class A diesel pusher, which would be the step up from this one, you may have to go to a specialty place for somebody to service that. This, like I said, any Freightliner dealership will do. This is running on the Michelin tires. These are truck tires. It's a 275 80R, 22 and a half incher. Very nice. Here in the back, we have this awesome one piece molded cap. And just the paint work is awesome. This paint is done by Sickens. They do high quality paint for some of the best diesel pushers out there. Now, another benefit of a Super C over a C is storage. These doors are solid and very large to give you a huge storage capacity. Here's your propane system here. Underneath there, you can see your hydraulic jacks with the snap pads. Those aren't, they don't come with it. Those are optional. This one has a pull-out cooler with pass-through over top. This is all carpeted and heated under here. Another storage bay here with upper pass-through. Very nice. Another bay down here. And you will have a very similar mount on the other side. Of course, you're gonna have your entertainment center, with your Insignia TV, and your outside Bluetooth stereo. You have a nice big awning all the way across the campsite, and a nice touch here. They put another awning over the door, so if it has, happens to be a little bit rainy, and you're going inside, you can go from one awning to the next awning to get inside the door. Now, before we go inside, let's just take a minute to talk about usability. 
So there is a slide here on your campsite, but it's not very big and the awning is attached to the slide. So when you're at your campsite, you can have your whole camp set up right here, have your chairs or your picnic table. You've got your TV here so you can never miss a game, stereo for some music. You've got your cooler right here, perfect place to grab a steak for the barbecue or a couple of drinks. And you've got all this shade underneath this big, beautiful awning. Sometimes you'll see slide outs that interfere with your campsite, but this one here, it's not that big. So it'll give you that space on the inside without interfering too much. I like it. Okay, so let's have a look at the cab first. So one thing that threw me off at first is I'm looking for wherever you put these keys and it took me a little while, but it's way down here. There we go. So if you buy a Seneca, your key goes down here. So when you get in, it has air. So we're gonna have to wait for that air to uh, pressurize. We'll take a little break before that happens. Okay, now that the air is pressurized, just so you know, when you first start it, if your air is low, it's gonna make an awful beep that will just continue to go until it gets to the proper level. It's kind of a safety feature. You don't wanna be driving with low air, that's for sure. Uh, here in the cabin, you do have a nice, comfortable driving position, you know. Got a great viewing angle. These seats are super comfortable. I have been told by owners of these that on a long drive, these do a really great job, great support. Uh, the seats are power adjustable. It is a Freightliner, so it's more of an industrial chassis. Uh, if you were to go with, say, a Magnitude on the Ford chassis or a Seneca XT that's coming out this year, it's a bit more automotive, but you know what guys, this is gonna do the trick. You've got your equalizer system, uh, hydraulic jacks, parking brake, Sony head unit, everything you need. Nothing too fancy, it's gonna do the trick. I was told recently by a customer that this mode button, if you push that button, it'll give you a little bit more get up and go. Any Freightliner owners in the comments, let me know what that's all about. I've never tried it myself. Before we get to the coach section, let's check out the horn and the air horn. Nice. Okay, now we're on the inside. So first of all, you have this great bunk up here. This is rated at 750 pounds. So you could sleep two adults here, no problem. You've got USBs, 110 plugs, cup holders, lots of storage, and this beautiful windshield with a screen for nighttime. This cargo net is great if you're using this for storage. Let's say you've got some big oversized items you wanna keep up here. You know, this is gonna lock in. It's gonna keep kids from falling out. It's gonna keep gear from falling out. It comes off with just these seatbelt clips. Now we can flip that section away and we have easy access to get back in the cab and hit the highway. Now, one thing I really like right next to the door is a coat closet. And there we have it. You can hang a couple of coats in there. You don't have to have them laying on the couches or hanging off the back of a chair. You've got this control panel here for your lights and your awning. This is actually detachable. A lot of people don't know you could just carry this around like a remote control. Here's your Xantrax inverter if you need to make coffee on the run. And here's our first slide out, our driver's side slide out. So we have the four seater dinette. You'll notice there's not a drawer here or here. The reason is, and I'll show you in a second, Jayco does great work with their seat belts. So you've got seat belts in all four seating positions here. Let's take a look inside. So the reason there's no drawer is it's hidden by this piece of wood here, but there's a triangular bracket that goes straight down, straight across, and back up. And that's what your seat belts are mounted to. You can kind of see the steel here. This is pull tested at 10,000 pounds. So in order to have a drawer under here, this would have to be less significant. So Jayco made the decision to lose a lot of the storage 
but increase a ton of safety. Why may you ask? Well, I have a one-year-old and a three-year-old. These are the tethers for the car seats. If I'm gonna have my kids here in the car seats, I'm gonna take safety over storage all day long. Another nice thing about this on the table, no legs. So nothing to bang your shins on, nothing interfering. And the TV, or sorry, the uh, table is on a bracket. So this will just drop down to create another sleeping area. I like the valances. Sometimes they cheap out and this will just be exposed around here and around here. They actually went to the effort and completely wrap these valances and these window coverings. These are nice as well, but I like that finished look with the wood trim. Then you have your day shades and your night shades. It's a good look. Moving into the sofa. So this will pull out, it's a hide-a-bed. So it's not a tri-fold, it's a proper hide-a-bed. And that will give you another sleeping area for two adults that's flat. Sometimes the tri-folds are a bit lumpy. You do have cup holders built in and they did put some storage over top with some nice accent lighting. These are all wood. Decent amount of space in there. I like it. Here's your entertainment center. So you do have the large smart TV, some storage up above, a little shelf down here with some lighting. Looks good, why not? And then your 5,000 BDU Greystone fireplace. This will actually put out some decent heat. Now some people say, well, why is it stuck in the corner over there? I don't know. I guess that's just the place they had to put it. So this particular floor plan has an awesome kitchen. You have a ton of counter space. You've got these solid surface countertops with covers, stainless steel sink, residential pull down sprayer. That's just antifreeze because we're coming into winter right now. So we just winterized, see? And check out this window guys. Look how big that window is in the kitchen. You can look right down in there into the campsite, check on the kids, see what's going on with dad. Then we have two big cabinets up here, convection oven, lots of storage below. You got four drawers. This is a great place to put the pots and the pans. Nice. And on this one, they went with the Furion induction cooktops. Not bad. If you like a big kitchen, this will do the trick. Next, we have the four door fridge and freezer. This does come with also a residential fridge, just depends on how they build it out. Here in Canada, a lot of people do a lot of off-grid camping. Here's an ice maker. So they do like the, uh, the propane and electric fridge still up here, but there is an option for a full-on residential fridge. These are pretty cool too. These nice slide-out pantries. Just a great way to save space. Got a little bit of space with a lot of storage. So this is the 37L, which means it has bunk beds. So these would be great for the kids, but honestly, here's a TV here, TV here. You don't need this to be a bunk bed, and I'll show you how. If you remove this mattress, there's a little bit of a lip here, and this is just about the right size for like those Husky storage bins. I know you can never get enough storage, but you could put a handful of storage bins in here, right? Close this little curtain, out of sight, out of mind, and you've just got a ton more storage. And honestly, these bunk beds, they're not taking away floor space. Out of the Seneca floor plans, this is actually one of the biggest that you can get, even with these bunk beds. So you have options. You have more storage or you can have more sleeping. I like it. So here on the multiplex, you do have your lights, your temperature, battery levels, your generator. This will have AGS. And what that means is that this generator will run itself. So if the voltage gets low, 
it'll turn on, charge the batteries, turn off. If you set it for HVAC load, that means that when it gets too hot or too cold, if it needs to run, it will run when it needs to. Now, if you don't want it running late, you can set the quiet time. So this is set from 10 till eight. So at night, the generator will leave itself alone. You can set the voltage. This is just a fantastic system. You do have heaters on all of your tanks and your fresh gray one, gray two, and black levels are right here. This is a fantastic system and it has an app for your phone. So you can just pull out your phone and check on all this whenever you want. Coming into the bathroom, we do have a decent sized shower with some shelving and a sunroof. Nice size vanity. So you've got three little cupboards down there, place to hang a towel, your porcelain foot flush toilet, and a medicine cabinet. Let's have a look. Yep, got lots of space for all your toiletries. This will also have on-demand hot water. So right here, you turn it on, set the temperature, and you can have as long of a shower as you want, as long as you've got the tank capacity to deal with the shower. Nice touch. Coming into the primary bedroom, we got a wonderful king-size bed with some cabinets up above, these pendant lights. So the blue lights are so you can get up to go to the bathroom without losing your sleepiness. And they also brighten up if you want to read. And one cool feature is this king bed is a recliner. So this will tilt all the way up for reading, watching TV. I've been told by one customer who used a CPAP that if he had a tilting bed and he slept at the right angle, he could get rid of his CPAP. So there's a lot of benefits to that big window over here and you have windows on both sides which open for cross ventilation get some of that fresh air that you came out to find behind this closet washer dryer prep three drawers another closet and a tv this is the insignia smart tv that's all throughout the coach you do have some storage back here if you're a gamer you could put your video games your apple tv your blu-ray player nice size hanging closet this is a collapsible ladder for that bunk up front. Plenty of storage. So what do you guys think of this Jayco 37L Super C motorhome? Is it big enough? Is it too big? Does it check the boxes? Is there anything left unchecked? Let me know in the comments your thoughts. And if you have any questions, if I get enough, I'll make a Q&A video. If you like this video, subscribe for more. And if you want to share it with a friend, by all means, go ahead. Thanks a lot.